amongst themselves. Today, if someone does us a favor, does something great for us, we remember that favor that person has done for us. And even after a year, after two years, we will always remember that favor that that person has done upon us. And the greatest favor that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has done upon the believers is that He sent amongst them His Rasul. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa He came to purify the believers. He came to teach them the book and He came to teach them the hikmah as you have heard from the ulama. I pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala allows us to follow the footsteps of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa and this great favor that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has bestowed upon us, which is Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa to remember this great favor of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and this is precisely what we are doing today by celebrating the Maudi. Today we need to, our mahafil, our majalis, of Milad al Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, we need to make them more active and we need to involve the youngsters and explain to them what is the purpose behind these mahafil. And one of the greatest purposes is to remember Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Remember the qualities of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam came into this world and the people of Quraysh, the people of Mecca, they were the worst of the worst people of society. They were the lowest people of society. They were the slaves. They were tortured. They were punished. They were ill-treated. And Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa made them the Ashab al-Rasul. He made them the greatest of people. He gave life to those girls and babies that were buried alive. Today we need to remember that mercy of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa Especially in this ummah that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bestowed the mercy of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa for the people of this ummah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala allow us all to act upon and follow the sunnah of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa and, and adapt the qualities of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa in our lives and in our children's lives. Only then we will love Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. We claim that we love Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, but we can only claim, uh, our claim can only be true once we follow the footsteps of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Aqulu qawli hadha wa astaghfirullah li wa lakum wa risa'i lil mu'minin wa al-mu'minat. Jazakum Allah khulakim. Alhamdulillah.